procedure to bleed and align the steering system on an Teamco spreader. To align the wheels, begin by moving forward with the tractor in a straight line so that the spreader is perfectly aligned with the tractor. The final alignment will be made with the hydraulic manifold located in front of the spreader. Before aligning the wheels, we have to bleed the hydraulic circuits to remove the air bubbles that could be present there. Remove the pins from the steering cylinders and put them aside so that these cylinders can extend and retract freely. Use the hydraulic hoses provided and connect them to the tractor and connect the other end to the hydraulic manifold. Open the P1 valve to bleed the hydraulic circuit of the third axle. With the tractor, steer the axle threes wheel left and right completely three times. The steering cylinder must extend completely three times. Return the axle threes wheel in a straight position. Also, leave the steering cylinder in its middle position, that is, more or less eight inches of rod. Close the P1 valve. Open the 1 3 valves. With the tractor, turn the axle threes' wheels left and right three times. Notice that the axle ones' wheels will also turn, which is normal. Return the axle threes' wheels in a straight position. Your steering system is now bled. We can now proceed to a more precise wheel adjustment. Close the 1 3 valves and open the P1 valves. With the tractor, extend or retract the left hand side steering cylinder and reattach it with the pin provided. With the helper, move the axle ones' wheels left and right until they are perfectly aligned with the spreader. Note that the axle one is the one closest to the tractor. During this operation, axle threes' wheels will also move. This is normal. Close the P1 valves. Open the 1 3 valves. With a helper, move the third axle's wheels left and right until they are perfectly aligned with the spreader. Close the 1 3 valves. For the last operation, you must leave a 300 pounds pressure inside each of the circuits. To do so, open only one valve at a time, and with the tractor, leave a 300 pound pressure inside the circuit. Read the left gauge for the left valves and the right gauge for the right valves. Close the valve after this operation and proceed with the others.